Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to present about the differences between operating system in iOS and Android. Our group members are Ms. Filzati Majida, presenting about reliability and security, Ms. Nur Ain Nadira for ease of design and implementation, Ms. Ana Ajana regarding advantages and disadvantages of both operating system, and me, Ms. Engku Nazira, who will present about flexibility and efficiency. Android was invented by Google, while iOS was invented by Apple. It is the operating system that is used in mobile technology, such as smartphone, iOS, and Android are designed to provide users with smooth and user-friendly experience with features such as touchscreen, navigation app, stores, and voice assistants. Both provide mobile development platform in addition to the operating system since they are in such tough comp competition to be relevant in the market. However, there are some significant differences between the two operating systems in terms of reliability, security, ease of design implementation, and efficiency. Now, I will discuss the differences between Android and iOS in terms of reliability. Reliability is the ability of a system or device to perform its intended functions consistently and without fail. Besides, in the context of mobile operating systems, reliability refers to the stability, uptime, and consistency of the operating system and its associated apps and services. This includes factors such as the frequency of crashes, bugs, and error, as well as the ability of the system to recover from these issues and maintain the regular operation. iOS is a closed operating system that only runs on Apple devices. The closed nature of iOS allows Apple to control the hardware and software, allowing for better integration and consistency. However, Apple releases regular software updates for all its devices, ensuring that all iOS users have access to the latest features and security fixes. Since Apple is the only manufacturer of its devices, hardware and software variations are reduced, making it easier to maintain the platform and provide a consistent user experience. With a closed ecosystem and regular software updates, the risk of security and malware issues is significantly lower in iOS than Android. On the other hand, Android is an open source operating system that runs on devices manufactured by multiple companies. This allows for greater customization and leads to more hardware and software variations. With a large number of devices and a more open system, Android is more vulnerable to security and malware issues than iOS. Lastly, Android allows users to download apps from a variety of sources, including the Google Play Store, third-party app stores, and even directly from websites. This increases the risk of downloading malicious apps. In conclusion, iOS is generally more reliable due to its closed ecosystem and consistent update. But reliability can vary depending on the device and manufacturer. Therefore, the choice between iOS and Android are depends on personal preference. Operating system security protects software and hardware from unauthorized access, modification or destruction by using techniques and technologies such as authentication, access control, encryption, firewalls and security updates that helps to protect sensitive information. iOS operates on a closed system architecture and the app review process is strict ensuring that only secure and high quality apps make it to the App Store. On the other hand, Android has an open architecture and the app review process is less severe, resulting in the possibility of malicious app making it to the Google Play Store. Next, iOS releases regular software updates that address potential vulnerabilities and provide users with the latest security features. Android also releases security updates, but the frequency and consistency of these updates may vary depending on the manufacturer and the device model. Lastly, iOS has a lower incidence of malware protection than Android, mainly due to its closed system architecture. However, Android has a broader attack surface due to its open architecture and users must be cautious when downloading apps from the Google Play Store. 
To ensure optimal protection, it is crucial to stay up to date with the latest security updates and measures for iOS and Android devices. For instance, users can take additional measures to enhance their device's security, such as using strong passwords, enabling two-factor authentication, and avoiding suspicious apps and links. In conclusion, iOS and Android have their strengths and weaknesses in security, and users must consider the trade-off between customer security and convenience when choosing a mobile operating system i guess that's all from me thank you assalamualaikum and hi everyone my name is Mina Aina Dira and now i will continue with ease of design between android and ios nowadays android and ios already have their own enthusiasts that are constantly looking up to their updates and improvement the designer's goal are to make sure the design can interact easily with the user requirement. So actually, both platforms already have their similar user interface that can easily be recognized by the user. Their navigation, uh, their buttons, cone control design, typography, icon size, and screen resolution are similar in functionality but uh, they are differently designed. So, uh, as many brands device use Android, such as Samsung, Oppo, so they have a wide range of design by the developer. While iOS are limited only to Apple products such as iPhone and also iPad. Therefore, the design for iOS is more simple and more convenient. Even for the first timer, they can easily understand. While Android have customizable design for their user. Now I will continue with implementation between iOS and also Android. As time goes by, the implementation of the operating system in Android and iOS gets more complex day by day. Android is created in Java language, whereas iOS is created in Swift language or Objective-C language. Software upgrade in iOS usually happens after quite a while. Um, for several years that they remain with the current features. The development in iOS facing much easier for this platform since they only focus on limited devices and doesn't need external tools. As I said earlier, they only focus on the Apple products. However, iOS is more strict in verifying new approval to maintain its high quality. On the other hand, Android often upgrades its software once per year with minimal upgrades throughout the year. So actually, Android's upgrade all depends on the device manufacturer except uh, for device that come or made from Google. Some of the manufacturers are not interested in updating their device, especially the cheaper ones. Since Android, uh, they come out with uh, several models in a year. Flexibility means the ability to bend easily without breaking, which could be implemented in the operating system. And in the operating system, flexibility is bent more towards Android. Android was always known for their flexibility to customize their operating system, which is called Open Operating System. Next, Android has a unique key feature that iOS does not have, which is open source. Its open source code for the full operating system is free, such as kernel, UI libraries, and key apps. Thus, this implies that anyone with the necessary technical knowledge may create Android from the ground up and install it on a compatible device. This adaptability has enabled several organizations to create alternative Android distribution. These are usually referred to as custom ROMs, however, custom firmware would be a better word. Both iOS and Android are two most of the efficient operating system, but iOS has more efficiency compared to Android. The first reason is iOS is better at handling memory. For instance, an iPhone 6 with 1GB of RAM can outperform a 3GB of Android phone RAM because of the fundamental differences between the design of two operating systems. The iPhone can function quicker on less memory and give comparable battery to many Android phones with far 
larger batteries because of iOS. iOS also has something that Android does not have, which is intelligent app management. The system manages the life cycle of iOS application when a user completes an app's interaction. The app enters a background state. App that generate significant CPU utilization while operating in the background for lengthy period of time may be stopped by the system if required. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Ahna Adriana and in this video I'll be presenting about the advantages and disadvantages of Android and iOS. There are a few advantages and disadvantages of Android and iOS. Firstly, Android is an open source platform that allows user interface customization. Developers have access to the source code and can modify it to fit their needs. Next, there are a variety of gadgets available for Android. Users of Android have a wide range of smartphone options at various price points. Besides, Android has cloud storage that enables device sensing through Google accounts. However, Android might lag on device with low specifications since the operating system is vast and takes a lot of space. In addition, numerous more pre-installed applications slow down the performance of smartphone activities. Android also does not provide virus protection by default unlike iOS. Thus, users need to download antivirus software to protect their devices from any significant malware and viruses. Conversely, iOS is simple and easy to use even after version updates. This maintains performance consistency while minimizing changes to the interface design. Next, iOS has an optimal security that keeps devices free from malicious programs and viruses. Devices running on this platform have no risk of getting viruses because applications and features are validated before being loaded for usage. In addition, iOS provides efficient multitasking to the user. iOS uses less power when running apps than Android does. Users may utilize numerous applications simultaneously without suffering any lag because of this. The downside is limited device usage because the platform only operates on Apple products. Devices with iOS are also generally more expensive than Android. Besides, iOS also provides limited storage capacity. Unlike Android, iPhones do not have expandable storage options and rely solely on internal storage. In conclusion, both Android and iOS are both popular mobile operating systems with distinct differences. Android offers customization options, a variety of devices at different price points, and cloud storage. However, it also experiences lag on low-spec devices, slow performance, limited update support, and requires antivirus software. On the other hand, iOS has a user-friendly interface, strong security, and efficient multitasking. However, it has a limited device compatibility, higher cost, and limited storage options. Ultimately, the choice between the two will depend on personal needs and preferences. And that's all from our group. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys can like this video. Thank you. Bye.